Hello and welcome, it's KB here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a cool new Android app. So this is an app called WinLater and using this app, you can run Windows apps or games on your Android phone. Yes, and this app is free and open source. If you go to their official GitHub page, from here, you can download the app itself and also learn more about this, like how to install this and all that. To download this app, you can simply go to the releases and from here, download the latest version of WinLater. Installing this app is actually really simple and easy, but if you want me to make a full tutorial on how to install it, how to set this up, like from start to finish, then you can do the comment. I'll make a full tutorial. In this video, I'm just showcasing the app that this app actually works. Yes, you can run Windows apps on your Android phone. We can install a couple of applications. So now let's open the app and run some Windows apps. So actually, I have tried similar app before, just like this one called Exagear. And this app also works similarly to Exagear. If you have ever tried that app, then you know what's up. The only difference between the Exagear and this app is that this app is still in development and the Exagear is not in active development. And WinLater might have some extra features compared to Exagear. You have to create containers by clicking on that plus icon to actually run Windows apps or games. So I have one container created already. So now let's run the container that I have here. So I'm gonna run in full screen and you'll see that it actually boots up really quickly. Yeah, here it is like within a few seconds. And here we have the file explorer opened by default. Even the internet explorer is here. So you can also go online. Actually the internet is working, which is a good thing. I have downloaded some other games and apps too, so I'm gonna install them. And one more just extra tip for you guys. The D drive that you see in this is actually your phone's downloads folder. So whatever you download in your Android phone, you can access those downloaded files from the D drive. So simple, right? Uh, I've downloaded the Firefox browser. Let's actually open this and it is installed. So now let's install some other game that I have downloaded. I don't know what those games are, but uh, I just downloaded it from the internet and hopefully they work. It is getting installed, which means uh, it should work, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to play this game. Now, the moment of truth. Uh, let's first run the Firefox because we have the shortcut in our desktop. And it looks like, yes, the Firefox is working depending on what android phone you have and what uh, chip you have uh, it might feel slow or fast you know so i have like decent phone uh, it, it has the uh, snapdragon 860 which is like decent cpu for android phones and you can see the firefox is working now let's test our game uh, i'm gonna run this zombie outbreak i don't think i have gamepad but I'm just gonna click on it. <laughs> I don't know what game this is. I never played. This is some randomly downloaded uh, uh, game and hopefully it works. And it is stuck. Okay, maybe I have to try this one more time. I've seen other people playing some old games using this. So yeah, it is possible to run some Windows games too. But sadly, the games that I downloaded aren't working. <laughs> maybe I should have downloaded some simple games. So basically, you know, what I found is that anything that works on Windows XP, that should work on this. That's it. Any game that you can play on Windows XP, you should be able to run those games on this. And one more thing, I'm going to exit this out. You may have to test out these settings for different games. If you're really into PC gaming on your Android phone, you may have to create a different containers for a different game because they all work in different settings. So in most cases, default settings should work fine and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye